Hello, this is Jennifer Gaetan, author of Bible Journey, and my topic today will be on sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is when you're you are sleeping, or you think you're sleeping, or you think you're awake, but you're sleeping, but your body is unable to function properly, unable to move. So, basically, what this is is this is demonic activity. This is a demonic activity that's done, which I believe when we are giving ourselves over to sexual sin. Sexual sin could be, um, it's not just homosexuality, it's sex outside marriage. That's what sexual sin is. Um, perversion in marriage, adultery, um, lust, porn, masturbation, um, sexual parties, all these different sexual things. Like, if it's sin, a sexual sin, and it's not of God, then it can be a dynamic activity and it can harm you. Um, harm you physically, harm you emotionally, but like a demon itself is, you know, can't have any power unless you give it power. But this is when, you know, you're sleeping and it feels like you're awake and it's just a scary thing. And also remember they call this um, a witch right in your back or right in a broom or something like that. Like, you literally feel stuck to the bed and like, you can sometimes you can talk but you can't move like it's a scary thing i believe i had multiple times before and i kind of believe that everyone's had it because we all have spirits and we're in a spiritual battle um so i put it up online and it says there's two types there's the incubus and the succubus i believe that's how you say it the incubus is an evil spirit that lies on persons in their sleep, especially one that has sexual intercourse with a woman while they are sleeping. And then the opposite, succubus, or it's not even really the opposite, a similar one, a demon assuming female form to have sexual intercourse with men in their sleep. These are just basic secular def definitions of these two spirits, which are also commonly referred to as sex demons or night demons. These demons are primarily spirits of sexual perversion. Whenever we are talking about demons, always remember not to put too much merit into the common names that they are called by. Spirits go by many names. Even God and Satan are identified by numerous names and titles in the Bible. True. Um, night demons are no more than spirits of lust. They are a powerful, high-ranking class of demons. And that reminds me of Legion. Like um, That was the name of a a demon because it meant that there were many. Like There were so many of them. Like, in Legion... Um, actual is a name for army rank, meaning like by the thousands, like that's how many gone, um, demons this guy had and that was delivered from by Jesus when he healed him. Um, I've had this when I was living in sin and what I was doing in that time, I remember, you know, having sex outside marriage. Um, I didn't think I was watching porn at that time, but I have, and that definitely opened it up to, I will leave a link on um, being delivered from porn, it was a very good sermon. But in my encounter, which one I believe um, was from opening up myself up to sexual sin, was I was laying in bed and I couldn't move or anything. But then I heard like someone calling my name. It was like Jennifer. It's like Jennifer, and I'm, I didn't say anything. And I'm just like, what? And I'm like. Like, what do you want? And then I finally was able to get up, and I realized that I was home alone. So I'm like, you know, like, what was going on? But of course, you know, not scared or anything, but I was just like, wow. But I didn't know at the time, but now as I'm just reflecting now, I'm like, that had to be what it was. Um, it's no superstition or anything. We all have spirits, and we are on this spiritual welfare. And that's why God tells us to guard, us, guard our hearts to live a holy life, because there's an unseen world, like... Are, if we could see in the spiritual realm, like it is war, like it is a battle and it is nonstop that the devil wants our, our spirit.